All right, so we're checking out the only game that puts what the f in front of impossible hard. It's GTA 5. Normally, I like to warm my penis up before the rage-inducing impossible levels, but today I figured just like a Band-Aid, I would just rip it right off. Not the the pain not my penis we're doing three different boards of escalating pain today the last map is a tightrope challenge that goes across the entire gta 5 map i can't wait to experience true anguish you got to travel through the first few layers to get to the final layer of hell after all the creator of this board had to put like every adjective to describe how hard it was in the title and i'm pretty sure in the description there was a 99. there's always a 99. Mm, balance beams my favorite. Now, luckily, uh, it does appear like there are waypoints in this particular challenge, which is nice, because if there wasn't, I would probably end up killing myself. Jesus Christ! This whole board is just one big piece of tetanus. Oh, God. You know what you need to complete this board? Patience. You know what I don't have much of? Patience. I wonder if I could just jump across this. Yurt! Oh, Jesus. Are you kidding me? I never thought the reality that I'm never allowed to wear a helmet in any of these challenges would ever come back to bite me in the ass. Oh, how foolish I was. Okay, let's try and not immediately die. Yay. Oh, I found something I hate worse than wall rides. Tight ropes. Oh yeah, this isn't precarious. Yeah, that's it, just fold your arms, it's no big deal. God, who put a turn in this thing? I like how this is 24 hours. It's like, is that how long it's open? No, that's just how much pain you have to endure to beat the level. They couldn't get a slightly straighter piece of concrete. It's like when the creator put this together, he was like, yeah, give me the most bent wiener version of concrete you can. Oh. <sighs> First checkpoint. Oh yeah, it's gonna get a lot better. The hell is this? Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm better off just jumping and hoping I make it on that damn platform. Oh, whatever, I'm, I'll do it the right way. Oh God. Mmm. Smells like feces and broken dreams. My motorcycle's going into this with 100 miles on it and it's coming out of this with hepatitis. No! <laughs> hey, motorcycle, how do you feel? My motorcycle's like filled with hypodermic needles. How much worse does this board get? If the answer is a lot, I'm really sad that I loaded it up. Okay, right here is where everything always goes wrong. I'm gonna bring my motorcycle in for detailing. What the hell happened here? What kind of bullshit was that? I just hit an invisible wall. This board is rigged. What I was saying is, I'm gonna bring my motorcycle in for detailing and the detailer is gonna be like, why does your motorcycle smell like 35 day old shrimp? All right, wh where's the invisible wall here? Yeah, what a bunch of shit. Okay, that was pretty good. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh yeah, this doesn't look bad at all. This potential instantaneous death. What the hell? Great, I'm having wall riding flashbacks. Luckily, when it comes to wall riding, I'm the juggernaut. Are you kidding me right now? I feel like Florida Man was like, discover my pain, Gray. You asshole. All right, how do you feel about not jumping off of your bike and cracking your skull open? No, go ahead. Yeah, keep doing it. Why not? Oh, well, at least I'm getting better at this part. Okay, I am nowhere near that thing. There we go. Like how there's just like a slowly growing blood spatter. This is the most jacked up ramp ever. You need speed, but when you go up it, it's like, psych! Why does everything on this board have erection problems? Yay! Haha! Uh, I don't really know how far this jump is. Oh shit. A lot farther than I had previously anticipated. Holy penis! <laughs> Pointless full flip. Sticks to landing. And secondary full flip. I don't know why I'm torturing myself like this. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh no, no, god damn it. If there's one thing I love, it's conveyor belts made of Reese's peanut butter cups. This looks unusually easy. I feel like there's a big problem here. I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. Am I gonna get hit with some endangered bird and catch like a felony or something? Huh? Okay, maybe not. What the? What the hell? What am I supposed to tightrope across? It's not even even! Son of a bitch! Oh, whatever. Just got a bunch of uh, free dental work there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is totally not, not nerve wracking. Oh, wow. Can't believe that. I really don't want to have to do that again. So I'm gonna hope that I may get across this one without much of a- Oh, son of a bitch. You have to actually pop a wheelie to get on it. Ah! I just want to do it fast. Just want to do it fast. I did it fast and the only thing I got was a headache. These lumpy tires are the devil. 
The devil! Okay, maybe the key is going slow and then fast. Yes. You gotta, you gotta ease it in slow. Okay. And then fast. Ah! And then if you screw this up, you go all the way back to the beginning. Like that. It's a very unfair board you've built here. Florida man, don't you fail this. He's like, I was born to fail. Florida bit me. Never thought I'd have to use a motorcycle to make Julian fries. What? <laughs> Safety, what's that? I love that the jump is at an angle, so you have to go up canted. Here, let me show you. If you, if you just go straight. <laughs> Oh, I managed to do it, thank God. I was gonna say if you go straight and then I totally didn't go straight. This is where all the people that get PTSD in this stage stay. Surrounded by sandbags and tears. Uh-huh, you see that right there? Bullsh gap. I've seen this before. Yeah! Oh, fuck! Okay, real quick. Nope. That's what I was talking about, how it forces you off to the left. I didn't hit the steering wheel, it just does that. Oh, no, screw your obstacles. Okay, so for this one, you have to have speed. Otherwise, you're not gonna make it. There we go. Okay, I love a good wall ride. This is not a big deal. Where do you go after the wall ride? Oh my God, what the hell? Where do you go? Oh, you have to just get lucky and jump? Yep, sure do. Okay, here we go. I actually have to do a donut on this in order to get enough speed. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I can make it. Wish they would have given me a faster bike. <laughs> okay, that's about as fast as I can make that jump. Okay, it is possible. I just have to aim it upright. Yes! Oh my god, I'm almost there. Okay, you have to do it absolutely perfectly. You need just the right amount of speed going around this turn. <clears throat> Come on. Yeah! <laughs> right back to the pain with the impossible stunt race. I always like it when the creator is like, yo, seriously, this is actually impossible. Please don't do it. We'll find out whether or not you're a lying bastard. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really hoping that you were just kidding. Okay. Go through the water here without stalling out. Nice. This isn't so much impossible, it's just infuriating. <laughs> ah! Every time I play GTA 5, I get wet. Like in the game, you know. Okay, starting off with a wall climb. You got it. Oh, I can already feel my nuts receding into my body to stab myself in the heart. Whenever there's a wall ride, though, I always feel pretty confident. Just because. A lot of the pain that I've endured so far in Grand Theft Auto has been on wall rides. It's like once you just get used to that type of pain. Oh, sh ha -ha. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like I have to go up an entire rigatoni. Is it just me or is the wall getting smaller? Very patriotic wall you've got going on here, good sir. You wouldn't like suddenly make a turn to the left or anything, would you? You bastard. The long ass wall ride, yeah. Nice, okay. All right. Pump up the little thingy here. And a little flippity doo da. Whoop. I like how everything color matches me. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, this is the kind that I hate because of the way the. Oh, yes. No, 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 please. Please, Jesus, no. How big is this board? I hate this type of loop de looping the most because it's hard to know if I need to turn left or right because everything gets all backwards. Uh, yeah, baby. How are you feeling, Florida man? He's probably like, like I want to vomit. Excellent. There ain't no brakes on the wall riding train. Okay, maybe there's some brakes. I swear to God, everyone makes their wall rides red for a reason. When you look down at this, what do you see? I see the spiral to hell. Actually, it doesn't even really go down. It just goes sideways. It's just like a lateral hell transfer. If you want the express route to hell, that's what you gotta do. How many loop-de-loops would you like? The creator was like, how many can I have? Oh, damn it. Nothing like doing a GTA race and coming out of it like 13 pounds lighter. Why is that? Because I projectile vomited five times trying to get to the next checkpoint. Okay, now I've got the pattern down. I've said this before, but it's a lot like breathing when you're going into labor or like uh, playing Street Fighter 2 in the arcade. Now that I know how to do the Hadouken, everything's fine. Yes, impossible, they said. 
We're not done yet, huh? A hell of a wall ride you got put together here. Tons of Florida men were injured during the making of this GTA map. <laughs> oh, shit, no. The bank on this wall ride is slightly more difficult than all the other ones so far that I've had to do. There we go. Oh, you have to go inside of the hole. No, lack of penetration. Okay, so this time, I now I know I need to thrust a little softer and like a slower entry, so to speak. Like right like this, there. That should do it, or not. I really appreciate that this guy saved all the difficulty for last. Come on, baby. Get inside the freaking tube. Playing freaking bocce ball with GTA 5 cars. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no! Ugh. Okay, how about like this? It's all about figuring out what angle you're supposed to come off that ramp. Yes! <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, I'm, I, this is a totally controlled fall. Please don't blow up, please don't blow up, please don't blow up. Yes! Car's in fantastic shape as we cross the finish line. Welcome to the longest, hardest, tightest tightrope race there is. It's literally called the tightest rope. I found the tightrope race with the lowest possible rating and the most angry people I could. This race is so tight, it's like squeezing a freaking pineapple through a lifesaver. Holy Jesus Christ. Actually, this might not be that bad. A few seconds later. Okay. This is officially a pain in my ass. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice and smooth. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got it now. We're doing it. Yeah. Tight roping slow is for squares. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. You know the saying, measure twice, cut once. I'm the kind of guy that doesn't measure at all. I end up cutting until I either get tired or there's nothing left. Some days I like to ride my motorcycle high above the city and reflect upon all the bad decisions I made in my life. Like loading up this friggin' level! Florida man, do you have anything to say in regards to this race? He's like, I should have worn my cup. Part of me wants to do a wheelie while I'm doing this, but part of me also doesn't want to fail. I'm doing a wheelie. Oh god, that was a bad idea! No! Who's your daddy, board? Who's your daddy? It's me! Oh yeah! I'm the king of the universe. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm much less than the king now, holy shit. You don't really realize how long this thing is until you look backwards. Oh! One day I'm gonna be talking to my therapist and he's gonna be like, tell me, Gray, what causes you the most amount of depression and stress? And I'm gonna be like, wall rides and tight ropes. And he's gonna be like, what? Although if he plays GTA, he'll understand. <laughs> I can still see the original platform. We haven't gone far enough yet. Speed! Okay. Now the original platform is pretty much gone. Just to give you an idea of how far we've gone. If I got hit by a plane up here, I would be pissed. I've decided that I am now a square because I have fallen off of this thing like a hundred times. Oh yes, so smooth. This beam is blue. It's the color of depression. Every time I start to pick up speed, I feel I feel a sudden tugging at my sanity. As if someone is saying, Gray, don't you freaking do it. I'm waiting for like a speed bump in the middle of nowhere on this thing. I'm going through all of the colors of the rainbow here slowly but surely. Yes. Oh, please, God. Do not let my motorcycle fall off of this. Look at how ridiculous this is. <laughs> no! <laughs> I've said this before. But no matter how long it takes, I'll do it. Ah yes, I remember this area. This is where I lost part of my soul. How could I forget? Mmm, reoccurring trauma. Okay, I think that this is my new best. I don't really feel like looking down to see where my brains ended up the last time. I have like inverted ADD. I can literally feel my hands trying to screw this up for me. If I made this board, I would put a gap all the way at the end so that when you go to get on the final platform, you actually just fall, <laughs> unless you're going with speed. Oh, we're rolling now, baby. This thing is way longer than I previously anticipated. Oh yeah, I get all the colors now. Shut up down there. <laughs> Don't screw me up. Oh no, this color like blends in with the background of the building. The shadow of my tire makes this really annoying. Oh God. Oh, it's still going. going. Oh, I thought this was the end. God damn it. 
They weren't kidding when they said it goes across the entire board. Yeet. My blood pressure right now is like 1 million over 2 million. How much more is there? Oh, did I find, did I find the magic pocket? Oh yeah, we're rolling now. Thank God too, because I had no idea how long this thing is. No. I'm starting to drift. Hands are cramping. Will to live fading. I probably should have looked at exactly how long this board is. Oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. I think, oh, 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 no, no, no. Oh, oh, God, oh, God. I think I see the end. I'm coming home. Yeah. <laughs> Let it end. Don't slip, please don't slip, please don't slip, please. <laughs> Uh, it's like I'm tripping on acid. My name is Gray and now I hate the color gray because it just blends in with my tire. <laughs> ah, all this green must be all the vomit and bile from the people who fell right at the end here. I think it's really sick how far that platform comes into view, but I'm not actually even that close. Gonna need a freaking oxygen bar up here. I'm gonna need any bar up here. I can taste the end and it tastes like fire and brimstone. I almost lost 30 years off the end of my life just then. God, is this like a freaking mirage? It's like, I'm not getting any closer. Okay, I think, I think I'm finally starting to get toward the end. Uh, I can see the finish line. This was actually worse than any wall ride or any parkour I've done yet. I can see the platform. <gasps> you know what would suck? If there was a really strong breeze all the way at the top here. God, it's getting steeper. Yes! Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Woo! And there you go. Six to landing. Bowl it. The longest tire. <laughs> well, I'm going to go cry blood for an hour. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of GTA 5. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.